What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. In today's video, we have a real, real small project. We are painting the grill on the Honda Civic project car. Now, I basically have the whole entire front end already pre-painted, or if you will. The, the hood is painted, the front bumper, the fenders, basically everything except the grill that we need to paint. So, I figured I might as well just tidy up the front end and be completely done with the front end and then I could start working on the actual body of the car. And uh, I did go ahead and start to um, <clears throat> start to sand a little bit on the grill. And uh, we're just gonna continue on and I'm gonna start changing the, uh, I guess the style of videos that I'm doing. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, so I decided to stop for tonight. Reason being, I got some crazy reaction with the primer. Let's see if uh, this camera will actually pick it up. There we go. You can see, looks like it's crazing. You can see it's all wrinkled up. It seems like the plastic had something something on it <clears throat> and it created this uh, weird reaction with the plastic but uh, that sucks but I guess it wasn't meant to be to paint it tonight so we're gonna have to sand that back down and uh, see if I could shoot another coat of primer on top of it so let me see if I could zoom in and show you what it looks like. All right, you guys see that? Primer, looks like it's uh, cracked. That's a uh, chemical reaction between whatever the plastic had on it and this uh, primer. And you can see it's all over. 
I don't even get to cover some of the spots with uh, with primer yet. So yeah, this thing is is pretty bad. Look over here. You can see it? It's crazing. It's all over this thing. So we're gonna have to sand this back down. So yeah, we're gonna have to sand this thing back down and uh, get it smooth again and then try either another coat, see if it reacts again. If not, we'll just uh, switch it over to a different primer and uh, no biggie. All right, so this is gonna be the second time around with the primer. Let's see if we have a little bit of better luck this time. I went ahead and sanded it down uh, with 320. And uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. And uh, hopefully we don't get any reactions this time. Alrighty, so this uh, second coat of primer went down a little bit better, but still got a reaction. As you guys can tell, right there, um, yeah, still got a reaction. A lot far less than uh, than the first coat, but still getting reaction, guys. And uh, well, welcome to painting. Yeah, so yeah, not everything goes. Uh, perfect in this uh, world of YouTube guys um, so yeah unfortunately I'm gonna have to sand this all back down and uh, maybe try the waterborne uh, I think I'll get less of a reaction and I don't think I will have this issue alrighty guys so I finally got the grill re-sanded down went ahead and uh, basically sanded it down with 400 or actually 320 to get most of the uh, defects out <clears throat> and then went ahead and re-sanded it with 400 and uh, pretty much ready to accept some primer went ahead and cleaned out my primer gun as you guys can see my mess uh, but this thing was pretty clogged up because I totally forgot about it and uh, ended up leaving a bunch of primer in the gun and uh, I'm lucky it didn't actually mess up the the spray gun but as you guys can see I also have a ginormous uh, box and then I got two more boxes over there I uh, basically took on some side work so um, yeah I'm gonna be prepping that bumper this is a front bumper for a charger um, that my neighbor I guess uh, something happened with her front bumper and she ended up ordering a new aftermarket one and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray um, the bumper as well. So basically, I got my work cut out for me. I also have some tail lights I need to clear for another neighbor of mine. So yeah, I got a lot of work coming up, and uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to put this aside for now. It's ready for primer, um, and yeah, so. I might just have to rattle can this one. I got some leftover rattle can over there. And then I'll save the primer for um, with the spray gun for when I go and actually paint this, uh, this bumper over here. So yeah, we got a lot of work coming up. So as you guys can see, I stay busy. Um, now this is a rare case, but this sometimes funds um, anything that goes on for the Civic any little parts that I need to buy, stuff like that. So I do the side work, I get a little bit of money. That money goes to the projects that I have on the channel. So that's basically how I do it. Um, anyway, guys, let's uh, start prepping the rest of, actually, let's spray some more primer on this grill and then, um, yeah, we'll call it a night.
So right there was the uh, the original fry up. You can see it's still kind of there, but it's really hard to tell, even uh, in person. So tomorrow, um, I'm gonna end up clearing this thing. I'm gonna let this thing sit overnight, see if I get any more reactions. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and try to clear it tomorrow. Um, I do have a friend or a neighbor that is, or friend neighbor, that is bringing over his uh, Miata taillights. So I figured, you know what, perfect. I uh, will kill the two head uh, tail lights and then the grill as well. Alrighty guys, so the grill and the uh, Miata tail lights are finally finished. You guys can take a look. Finish came out pretty awesome. Especially this one. We also got the third brake light. He wanted the third brake light cleared. And then this one ended up getting a little bit of trash. But overall came out really, really good as well. See that? I used the uh, a fast clear. This is the uh, Honda Civic grill. It's got some weird angles, so it's kind of hard to see the reflection on there. Didn't come out too bad. It's just a grill. Uh, wasn't going for perfection on this one, but uh, can't remember if it was. If it was this side or the other side that had the uh, that, that had that uh, fry up, you can see. I think it. I believe it was this side. But let me check this side. Yeah, can't can't uh, see it at all. So yeah, all I did. Uh, you guys saw me sanding a little bit on that corner. Sanded it was 600, got it down uh, pretty fair, got most of the uh, the uh, the crazing off, 
and then shot a little bit more base. You can still see a little bit of imperfection in the base still, but I just went ahead and cleared it anyway, and you can't even tell that it was there, so fix that. Um, overall, I think the job came out pretty good. <laughs> I got this uh, out of the trash can because I needed like a little tabletop, and uh, so I just pulled this out of the trash and uh, put the lights on there. Alrighty guys, so that is it from me guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, commenting. Um, my videos are going to start changing a little bit uh, in the very, very near future. Uh, I'm gonna be getting better editing software, but it's just so darn expensive. Um, I can't really afford, you know, three, four, five hundred dollar software just to edit video. Um, but I am trying to work my way up to uh, be able to get better uh, editing software so I can get better videos so that uh, you guys can enjoy uh, better quality videos. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be in the near future. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay spraying. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.